Hello and welcome to another replay 7.27c. This is going to be a um, divine slash high legend, I believe, game. I think that this is actually a team game, or I'm not sure what side he's on. it, But from what I know, it's more than an hour, which is uh, a little bit more than my threshold. But mind you, I'm going to just kind of watch the first 15 minutes in great detail, and then we'll just kind of uh, two exit throughout just so that we can kind of get to the other games as well. So... Um, Let's just kind of look at the free cam here. We don't need to watch everything. Razor Sky versus a Rubik Slark. Yeah, and Razor should be able to just kind of zone him out and wins that. Oh, but there's a Meepo in this game. Excellent. Um, it's a Master Tier Meepo. Plox. That name sounds very familiar to me. I don't know why. May Allah be with you and you also. And we've got a Bristle Wyvern. Pretty good lane against a Sniper Ogre. So somewhat traditional. Um, and a Kunkka versus Meepo. Cool. I think they're kind of good lineups, good lanes throughout. Um, oh, Kunkka just walked up and just stole that last hit. Meepo not realizing he doesn't have the actual base base attack damage. I mean, it's 57 versus 63, but does that poof? Something's to note. You don't see Meepo all the time, so this is one of those games. We'll see if he uh, he does fall off in the end. And I love the fact that he's got like what his his entire life's you know for the next 10 years purchases lined up. This is where you kind of just queue everything up in the Amazon um, wish list. And at the end of the day, you just buy things in order. But let's see if he actually does. Um, it's got Tidebringer and uh, Torrent, which is fine. Um, the lane is pushing, though. And he does have almost full mana. So he's going to pop, probably pop off a Torrent at some point. Um, and I think that this lane will probably be one of the more interesting ones. Um, as I say that. Meeple seems to have gone AFK, okay, but we'll go to the top lane. Fire Blast here just kind of locking in the Wyvern, really nowhere to go. Sniper just shooting from afar. And this is interesting because the Sniper is a the carry, right? But he's kind of gone with, like, I don't need items. I don't need stick, even though it would be great against this Bristle. Oh, nice Fire Blast there. But, they're, they're, like, they're completely prioritizing differently. If he focused the Bristle, they would have killed the Bristle, but instead he looks like he wants the Wyvern, but this is for first blood, so he does need to be a little careful. He's getting very low, and Sniper does secure that one. But to be honest, I feel like it, he should have aimed for the, the Bristle. Right? Um, and they're both hitting... It's really weird, because they're both hitting different targets. They're like completely on the... You know, not on the same page. Um, we're looking at the top lane. Razor's here. Six tangos, and the, you do the chicken dance as you kill the courier. Very nice. Nice there. Slark, on the other hand, um, goes for the full wand. He pounces away anytime he gets linked. And, <laughs> and Rubik repays him, the Skywrath, by actually killing his courier. And look at they're going to chase through. What is the uh, range? It's just out of range. Three, 290 movement speed versus 325. There's no way you catch up, sir. And Skywrath will just... Salvan up and should be away. All right. One thing to note is that you need to make sure that Meepo doesn't get out of control, but kind of blocking his creeps, uh, making sure that he just stuck to the lane creeps. As I say, that Meepo kind of makes his way out, um, and he gets the D ward. So that's uh, going to further expedite his um, his farm. And I love I love the little swords now, man. Those are super sweet. Very cute. All right, Meepo's cute only when he's on your team. Um, actually, that's not true either, because generally speaking, every time you see a Meepo on your team, he generally sucks. And then when he's on the enemy team, he's like God's gift to the world, and he's amazing at this game. Um, okay, but Sniper does get the stick here. Uh, Ogre, I feel like you need to be more Pui Pui, in the sense that you need to be more aggressive. Like, you got this big old body, right? You're, you're regening of seven in eight, right? And you have a Tango if you want to go. I don't think that fireball is worth it. Uh, but you might have gotten him stuck on in with those all those shrapnels. Yeah, he's got nowhere to go. So yeah, you're gonna secure that one in the end. So okay. But that's what I was saying, right? In the sense that you need to be more poo poo. I, I think that that's what it means. Please tell me if it isn't. I hope it's not racist or anything. Um, but you need to be aggressive. Like use your big old body. Like you got an arcana, right? You just flaunted. You got to shake what your mama gave you, right? Just get up on this guy. You got, you got the orb of venom, so you can slow him down. Nice fire blast. Boom, boom, punch him, punch him, punch him, punch him. He has to, he's not going anywhere. Shrapnel on top. Oh, it doesn't have any more charges. Okay. Go, go. Oh, ogre. 
Actually, that was really bad position. Oh, it gets the fire blast. Nice. Right off cooldown. Ignite. Yeah, that should secure that one. Tangle won't save him. Uh, but actually, really nice in the end. That was a way, uh, really nice way of securing the kill. The only thing that I was thinking was that when you saw the cold embrace on the winter wyvern, you probably should have moved up here and looked to body block. Let the sniper just get secured the kill, but you're just kind of cutting off the retreat so that you know he's going to go this direction, right? And the fact that you're standing in front, if you work on your body blocking, you'll definitely help out your team a lot more. Um, okay. So you've done that nice little kill. You secured it and you've pulled. Ogre, you are a god among the this, this support level. Um, I'm sure Sniper's like, oh my god, this ogre is so sexy. I'm so glad he's in my lane. So amazing. Um, but that said, one thing to note is that Sniper really doesn't have a whole lot of items, right? His, um, like he doesn't have the Wraith Band yet. He doesn't, I mean, as I say that, I'm sure it's just getting delivered. Yes, it is. But... Doesn't have treads yet, but he does have the Wraith Band, fine. Meepo is level 6. Kanka is 6, and there's a potential for a kill. I mean, he's got a full Wombo combo this. Uh, yeah, your Tidebringer. Not doing a whole lot of damage. Um, okay, so we're going to look at the top lane. Slark, on the other hand, is level 5. Um, still tops in his lane, compared to the Razor's 18 of 7. Nice pull there by Rubik. Rubik, one thing to note is that I don't like about is that he doesn't have boots yet. Like, what the hell? Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, and you're level 3. So you've given your Slark a lot of space to get the XP, which is great. Um, but you need to get levels in some way. While you did a single pull, I would have preferred a stack pull. That's best case scenario, of course. Uh, but your Slark is now 6, and he can start making moves. He can start making plays, right? Uh, Skyrath doesn't have boots. He's 325. You're 335. So you are the faster one. You're in the race car. So go at him. Um, with my awesome camera work, I missed another kill. You've gotten double kill by the sniper. Um, okay, so I just noticed that the cooldown went off. Like, you killed him, but then you popped the stick, I think, after the, everybody died. Like, there's no reason to waste your charges. You have your innate regen, and it's going to take them time to even come back here. So you, there's no, really no reason to pop that. You might as well save the charges for when you really need it for that oh shit moment. Later down the road. Meepo TV on back. It does have treads. What is the big item? Is he going to go straight up uh, E-Blade? Yes, he is. He's going to get some more little items just to help farm. Um, <clears throat> one thing to note that Wyvern would probably be... Like, instead of just chilling out here... Like, I think the Bristle's kind of in that stage where... Hang on. What does Bristle have? Uh, he doesn't have boots, but he does have the Ring of Health, right? Like, this Bristle is going to start to become a problem, and Sniper kind of realizes that by just going on Tinder here and just kind of, like, AFK. But, like, the Wyvern, your value add, <clears throat> you would be more efficient in helping your team if you were not just leeching the XP of both of the Creep Wave and this farm, but you were back here stacking camps. Meepo would love you. He would love you a long time, right? And that would really help out your team. Instead, you're kind of doing this weird, I'll just babysit my bristle, who's, to be honest, this is like, he's an 18-year-old boy. You don't need to babysit an 18-year-old boy. He's a man. He's a grown adult at this point, right? You need to be where, in the jungles, in the trees, get your Lion King game on, right? Start jungling it up. Start stacking it, right? Give yourself a chance. Oh, this is Lark. It's getting very low. Okay. He's going to dark, what is it? Shadow hits away. He should be fine, but he's kind of greedy and sticking around. And now the Rubik comes in. I don't know why the Rubik bought Tangos. I think at this point you don't really need Tangos. A lift off, but for what? Into a pounce, and that's going to be... Ah! He slowed down. He slowed down. Uh, and the right click from the Rubik, very nice. The Slark doesn't need to be a little bit careful. The TPs are coming in, reinforcements, and it looks like the call for retreat is now being used. And Meepo just happily farming. Mind you, this is a master tier Meepo, so he, should, he knows how to play the game. Um, Kanko doing a good job, right? So if the Meepo is out jungling here, put him on a timer, right? What is that timer? Cut the creep wave here so that these creeps do tower damage and you force him to be like, oh shit, I don't want to take any structure damage. So the Meepo needs to make a rotation. He needs to get out of the jungle sooner. So you're forcing him to do things based on your own play. Bristle here, level 6 sniper. Just, uh, that's not a sniper, unless he transformed. No, he actually went into the triangle, um, and he's looking to get farm in his own way. A little bit of an, I mean, 
it was going to be tough to deal with that, right, in laning. But what is he doing now? Oh, he's got the naked javelin. Dyer's middle tower um, is under attack. Okay, and it looks like he's given up the lane for Ogre to just to sap some XP. Uh, fine. It's 9 minutes and 37 seconds, right? So what is the call here, right? This is pushing in, which is perfect for the Dyer. Ruby creates space for him to just kind of take that rune. Wyvern's just been chilling at this rune. And again, the 10 minute one, very, very important, right? Ogre completely out, just taking that XP. He's been like, oh shit, 953. I'm not in a good spot. Let me get on this, like, this bird thing. Um, and just try to get the rune? No, I'm too late. Plus so sort of fire blast, it ignites. Uh, and it looks like Bristle's just gonna TP away. So while the Radiant do have most of the kills, the Dire actually are securing most of the net worth. Um, and that, that's not 100% through the Meepo. Obviously, that definitely helps. I mean, he accelerates his farm quite a bit. But, again, I don't like the, the movement and the just the fact that this Wyvern is just chilling. He's not adding value. You need to help your lane and the, the way you would do that, or you help the game by stacking. Getting out of there, so to speak. Alright. Razor here does have phase. He can run up on almost anyone. Slark is uh, going to go with Defusal first. Which I'm okay with, but I feel like somebody needs to be that guy who finds Sniper in the end. Right? Like, how? who's going to get to the back lines? Who's going to initiate? Is it going to be the Meatball the entire time? Or is it going to be, you know... Are you going to... Oh, got the last hits. Does have the net. Okay, okay, this might be the first one. Uh, Rubik. His, his positioning was really weird. Oh, the Torrent is off the mark. Why don't you lift, and then you Torrent? You, you have the combo. Oh, and Meepo's probably going to die for this. Yeah, he's been axed the boat. Oh, that was a travesty. Okay, all right, all right. I, I need to rewind this, because I, I think people need to see... What? A tiny, tiny little... Hang on. Ah! Ah, rewind! Alright, here. Look it. So the Kunkka backs up, gets the last hit. This net is super nice. But watch what the Rubik did. He needs to be there to secure him. But instead, look at how he fade bolts, and then he shimmies to the trees. If he went directly forward, just lifted him up, stolen it, the torrent, and torrented him in, right, like, where he was right here... They would have secured that kill on their side. Now, what happens is that two TBs are coming in. The Skywrath is now in position, and they've completely turned this fight around. Right? So a simple mistake that the support did here, and all hell broke loose, and they completely fucked up. You fucked up, mate. You fucked up. Boom. All right, so. All right, first 11 minutes, let's 2 exit now. I think that we're going to kind of see just uh, Meeple just farming, trying to do what's get his much out of his space that's somewhat limited. Uh, Bristol needs to kind of push. She's going to get Hood into uh, phase. Radiance Mind you, there's a decent amount of magic damage. I, I, I can see the usage of... I mean, I hope he goes full pipe. Because his team definitely needs it. And this Meepo really hasn't popped off. Right? Like, this Conquest kind of kind of keep, kept him in check. He does have the, uh, the Sanj at, at the stage. Razor does go down in the end. Oh, Rubik survives. And it looks like Sky will survive on this one. He's not even level 6, mind you. Wow, okay. So, a little bit of action here. Kunkka, like, he changes it. Exit boats. And, like, he just completely turns it around, right? So, like, a good Kunkka is, like, super annoying to deal with. And he's gonna kind of control, like, anytime Meepo wants to poof away, he can exit. So, I can see the Kunkka being, like, a really nice pocket pick. I mean, I don't know if he was gonna... No, I don't know what the drafting, I don't know the order or whatever, but I feel like there's a good counter pick. It's very safe, um, and it's good to go. And Meepo now can get some good pickoffs, but again, he really needs to kind of... He he wants to be, like, here, not where he's at right now. He's, a, like, a little bit ahead. He needs to just really... Like, it's 14 minutes. You would think that he should be much, much f fatter than this. Um, so let's keep it in check. Razor here just coming up on him. He's been gooed on back, thrown back. Well, he, uh, Razor, not that tanky. I mean, he's got the face boots, and he's just, like, stealing stuff, but... Here come the reinforcements. Kunkka does get him with the X, the boat, and to the Skyrock alt. And it's very nice. I mean, the DD's gonna do some work. He dies. Uh... He's gonna run. He's gonna run. The pounce off the mark. He gets the rune. So, yeah. Not all for not. Um, but, yeah. He does have Halberd here. He's gonna go get Ags, which is super good against Meepo, right? 
because Meepo, the players don't even know where their other Meepos are, right? So somebody will get torrented in the end with that torrent storm. So TPs are coming. Shrapnel is trying to keep himself alive. Razor, and it looks like Meepo just wants the TP on out of there. They poop away, and they disengage. They saw all the TPs, and a lot of space created, but what? The space for them themselves? No, because nobody was really farming. Slark does have defusal. Something to note. Oh, they found the Kunkka, the boat, and that's going to be a dead Kunkka. Yeah, one more time. Completely out of position. That was really bad. He gets, he's got to respect the, the fact that, like, the net is there and, like, you know, the Rubik is, has been on point with his lifts. Or at least at that point. Uh, and, mind you, stolen X, right? To be honest, against the Kunkka, all of his spells are amazing to steal. So definitely something worth noting. Um, Cook is a very good target to go for anything. I think actually Ogre is kind of in the same way because I mean not not so much as Bloodlust and uh, but it got kind of worse. But if you can steal his Fire Blast, you can have a field day. Yeah, they're gonna go up. Oh, Rubik gets used on up, and that's gonna be a dead Meepo. Oh no, no, he pooped away. Very quick, he died, but uh, Skyrest somehow not dead. Yeah, just look at him. Nice lift up there. Razor should fall in the end. They get the sniper. They turn this around. And it's going to be a four. Or sorry, a three for one. And uh, the boat catches out the bristle. Shipwreck. Uh, are they going to get more? They do have a nice. Nope, the Meepo is back. The ghost uh, ethereal blade is there. And that's going to kind of just stop the Kunkka shenanigans. I mean, when he doesn't have spells and he wants to right click, like, he's going to struggle. So Meepo kind of uh, get on point here. So I feel like the dire side have a, a little bit of momentum. They should definitely be pushing. I feel like all of these, like, where are the clones? They should be pushing the tower, no? Instead, they found the razor. Get towers, mate. Get towers. Poof, poof them away. Like, this is this is the power of the Meepo, right? <clears throat> They're just so tanky that, like, yeah, the tower's in it. But, like, we'll just poof them away later, right? Uh, and that's a free tower. That's going to be, I think, not, I mean, the first one for the dire. And they do get the... Meepo's in position, and yeah, you just focus that Kunkka. Get him. The net's a bit off the mark. The pounce as well, but he, okay, he gets caught at the end. Um, all right, so more Meepo action. He's kind of all over the place. Just catches out the, the Razor one last time. Yeah, he's got over to go. Ethereal Blade. And this Meepo, this is why he's a master tier, man. You need to respect it. Right? But this is going to be interesting to see how they kind of they kind of fuck up. Because I know that this game is going to be more than an hour, right? So what happens? What does Meepo do? Like, what is the item that changes things, right? Because it feels like even Kunkka's kind of suffered. I mean, that Torn Storm is definitely going to be up there. It's going to be super amazing. Yeah, so I just said super amazing. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be amazing against this Meepo, who's going to want to poof away, right? Um, and obviously, BKB really doesn't help them too much. Because obviously, it's just that one Meepo, right? So, we'll see how this goes. We don't need to see that. Back to two exits. Slark, his impact has just been follow around the Meepo. Um, I haven't seen too much of that. He's going to get BKB up next, which I think that you're going to need to fight against the Kunkka. Like, he hates it because he wants to X you, control you, and uh, just kind of make you have a bad time. And, obviously, protecting you from all the stuns, but Sniper is pretty much the only right clicker right here. I mean, Razor's there, he can steal it and stuff like that, and he can be built that way, but look at how you, Razor's being built right now. He's being very somewhat control-oriented. Um, he's going to go Utility. And they're going to run up on Rubik. Rubik, good forces. No, I can't get away from this Razor. He's super fast. He does have Yules. So, yeah, I see the uh, the power of it. And then use him. Yeah, one last time. He's got nowhere to go. That's going to be easy pickings for him. Um, okay, so push, 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 push. What do we get? x on in. So they got him one last time, but it looks like they've gone too far. Razor is looking to go back, and the X will just stop him in place. Um, all right, that's cool. Okay. So he's almost got it, but I don't like this Radiance play. Hang on. Whoa. Yeah, I don't like... No, I don't like this Radiance. I think that's silly. Like, Kunkka on... I mean, he's going super tanky. He's going to go Torrent Storm, like Ag style, and then Radiance. So I guess he's going to be built like the, the offlaner should have been. So I guess somebody needs to do that. So, okay, not the worst item. I mean, you do have some right clickers in the fact that, like, Meepo, um, and then obviously the Slark. So, Smoke here. They don't see anything. Not a really a whole lot of good vision. Um, they really couldn't find that right pickoff that they wanted. Meepo here. 
Yeah, they they look like they're freaking out when they move together like this. People looking for that perfect spot. It does have scythe. Okay, nice hex into the, the sniper. That's the perfect one. You gotta prioritize that. But now Meepo's in a bad spot. The winner's curse has been used, and here comes Waterworld, and it's going all around. But Meepo is dead, which is a problem. The bristle has been X'd on back, and he somehow survives. Who's got the, uh... Okay, so three for two. BKB now being used for Slark, but he's been extra. He don't care about that, because he's got BKB. All right, you turn it. I saw some pings. I, I, I saw the uh, master tier ping, which is Meepo, and he seems to be a good Meepo player because he knows when to take objectives, and now is the time with three people dead. Another on X on in. They do get the Rubik. Assassinate. Ooh, he just runs away. Oh, no, but the Tori catches him out. Four staff up to the high ground. He, he will be fine. So net worth lead, both of them dire, top two. All right, Slark needs to get a TP, sir. Uh, Dragon scale, okay, so this bristle is different than the last bristle, right? In the sense that <laughs> there's no battle fury on this bristle back, which is very smart, but he's gonna go Halberd. Um, just more ways to kind of control the sniper. I mean, obviously if you can't shoot, you can't right click. He's a uh, <clears throat> trapnel machine at that point. That's pretty much all he does, right? He's a shredder, I would say. Um, but it looks like a smoke has been spotted. They do get the ogre, and the ogre will happily tank that, but they're going to get more in the razor, who's just going to die to this, this this army. I mean, it doesn't even seem fair with because they have so many players. Like, three extra meepos or whatever? Like, that's not cool. Um, nonetheless, <clears throat> only a 9k net worth lead, right? Like, the game feels worse. Uh, Meepo just making plays all over the place. And look at this guy. They're just tower machines. Tower munching machines. Right? Take the outpost. What do you do? Two, de two dead. I would definitely look to go mid. And hopefully push down that T2 mid. Uh, but the Skyrath coming. Probably need to start respecting that. And timing is not a little bit... Of, timing becomes an issue. Right? They have a lot of map control. But this Meepo all oh, caught out again. And that's the power of the X. Got nowhere to go. Winner's Curse, Torn Storm all over the place, but they found him out. The Rubik is dead as well. The Sniper's been picked off. He does have buyback if he wants to come back into this, but I don't think he does, especially since their team is winning. They've gotten four, and they're going to get full team wipe. Well played by Radiant. They're going to push on through, and it, it's it's so hard to get into this because Kunkka survives or keeps the sustain and just keeps the fight going, right? And the fact that, like, his rum and everything, he just he, he's super tanky. 3.8k. Life, and that's even without his ghost ship, right? The ghost ship, like the ROM, just like this guy becomes super annoying to deal with, right? And so, what is the itemization? Where is the vessel? Where, where, like, you know what I mean? Like, these are the things that if you're up against specific heroes, you need to itemize properly. In this game, vessel, like, totally shuts this guy down. His HP, because he's got so much, the percentage on the vessel, if you don't know what vessel is, please do check it out. Uh, I can't see it because of all this garbage here. But pretty much it helps. It's percentage-based damage, right? So the more HP you have, the more damage it does. Plus the amount of heal and the fact that, like, you know, the rum and all that stuff kind of get affected by that. So things, some things to note. And he's going to get even tankier as he's going to get his Radiance, which he's got now at 31 minutes. Uh, and it looks like Evo is going to get a free Roshan. Slark is going to get, well, he's got BKB already, which is great. He's going to get Abyssal up next. Slark is definitely something that is going to be, okay. It's really going to come down to how can they find the sniper? Can Dyer find the sniper? If they can, they win. It's as simple as that. Because sniper, if he's untouched with bloodlust, just shooting people from afar, like he's going to have a field day. He's going to kill everybody, right? So if you're not able to kill the sniper, if you're not able to find him, in the end, you're gonna have a, you're never gonna win. Look at this this bristle illusion. This creep is like, I just want to kill him, and he disappears. All right. So Skyrath here, four staff into a glimmer. Um, I don't really know if that's okay. Okay, so they found the Meepo and they caught him off guard. They have a lot of AOE damage, that Torch Storm. And the Winner's Curse is not doing enough. Meeple just barely getting out. And they do look like they're going to at least get the Bristle. No, he's been forced away. They get the Slark, so that's good. Uh, and the Meeple comes back in, and he wants the Sniper. He's trying to prioritize that, right? And so with the amount of stun and control, and they didn't have anybody else, the Meeple by himself, I mean, yeah, you got three of your buddies. You kind of fall in the end. If they can isolate that one, and they can secure you, the Meeple, you're going to have a rough time. Oh, this Bristle does get away? Oh, he's, oh, he turned around. Why would he turn around? He just wants to shoot out his goo. He wants to coronavirus the guy, but no. Um, sorry, Karen, but it looks like you're dead on this one. So, Razor, what is the play, right? 
Get out of the jungle. Start pushing towers. Right? Sniper. Three people are dead. The Meepo's are really the only one that can really isolate you. As long as you've got your ogre to kind of just fire blast the guy, create space, and I know, know that you're going Hurricane Pike, or you have the Force Staff now. Uh, you're going to go Scotty up next, which I'm cool with. Um, and you have outs, right? It's kind of like a pseudo-defensive item. You don't need to go um, BKB. And I normally I say that with cores because of the fact that, like, for them to get on you, it's super difficult. And if you're all the way in the back, if you have perfect perfect positioning and the force staff can kind of alleviate some of those times that it's not perfect, um, you have outs, right? So if you're going to go straight up damage and just be shielded by this ogre who can force staff you again and glimmer, you know what I mean? Like, he's the one that, he's like your BKB. He's your walk, he's your personal BKB. Look at this guy. Like, this guy is like best friends. Like, Ogre kind of, uh, I, I don't think Sniper wants to be his friend, but Ogre's like, this Sniper's my best friend, he's just sticking around with him. But, he's a good support, right? Like, that's, that's what you want to do. You need to protect that number one guy. Razor gets caught out, he's completely by himself, he does not have an Ogre following him around. So, yeah, it looks like the lanes are going to be pushing. Um, but yeah, with Razor, no buyback. I feel like you need to get something out of this, right? Like, you need to, uh, these are the tiny little spaces, the, the little gaps. You gotta get something, right? Like, if you can get that pick off, and again, I wish the Slark actually went like a Shadow Blade type. You know what I mean? Because who else is going... Nobody else is in Viz. Right? And you're forcing them to then... The Radiant would have to go sentries, fight here. Look at how tanky the Kunkka is. And they're just kind of backing up. And nothing was... Nothing was lost. Bristol's just going to stand on there. He does need to be a little bit careful. He is weak. Hold the brace there. The boat that's been stolen... The net does catch up the Skywrath, he buys back, and it looks like they're going to at least get the T2, and it's going to be a call for retreat. So they got something out of this. Actually, that was a really nice boat that was stolen by Rubik. Um, I'm disappointed that he doesn't have the Arcana, so that we can see, like, the green boat, but, you know, this guy's a poor man. His name is John one Somebody needs to donate money to this guy. So Meepo here is making quick work of that T2. Awesome. All right, how do we go continue? The BKB has now been used. Torrent Storm is on the end of this. Every boat's everywhere. Winner's Curse as well. And that Skywrath alt is just kind of going all throughout. Meepo does die in the end. Bristle has gone too far. He's going to get stunlocked and he should be dead. And it looks like a full-on retreat for the other two. Slark does run away. And then nice Yules and TP. And he gets away. Really well played by Winter there. But they lost three. One thing to note is that I feel like Meepo's trying to get to the sniper but he's struggling because everybody else has been controlling the meepo right and seeing as that he's so much further out from everybody else like that fight was going on here while the, everyone else is kind of back here like his team needs to kind of stick with him and that's the problem of getting to um the sniper right like if the slark had shadow blade some way to kind of to surprise somebody to ambush somebody there then he would have outs right but the fact that he, Meepo has had to do things on his own, his own net worth has fallen because of the fact that he has not been able to get that right pickoff, right? He's been controlled. I mean, yeah, he's got Scythe, but he's not been able to burst down the Sniper, who's got Scotty, who's very fat. Very fat. Big bone dude. Sorry if I'm being rude. Uh, 2,445 2, life. That's a lot for a Sniper. He's level 23 versus what? The, 20, the level 27 of the Meepo, right? He doesn't have the burst yet, and that's why he needs another buddy to kind of help him on his flanking endeavors. And that would probably have been Slark. But Meepo here with the Aegis, hopefully that doesn't just come into a, uh, a Gemini type where he just dies twice in the same place. Um, without getting any value out of it, but we shall see. Um, but yeah, like look, in, in the latest Battle Pass, you're going to see things like this. Right? When they're having a good game, they get like highlighted. But this is a pay-to-lose thing. You are bringing more attention to the hero that needs to die. Right? Like, this sniper should be target number one. If you do not kill the sniper, you do not win this fight. Any fight. And so this is putting a target on yourself. This is like a bounty. Like, I don't know why. Like, they have not gotten to the sniper, like, almost at all. Like, this guy's had a field day. 13, 3, and 12. Even if the game ended right now, those are that's a really good KDA, right? And it's all because of the fact that, like, the Dire Side have not been able to get on him. All right, so, um, I mean, one thing to note is that maybe the Wyvern would go Glimmer, Splink, maybe. 
and then it, like the ogre that's nearby the sniper who's been sh chilling with him. If you winter curse the ogre, maybe the sniper kills him, and then your meepo can go on the sniper. But the initiations right now that have been happening with the meepo making the initial jumps have not been. What the hell? Am I seeing two, two ethereal bits? Am I? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, for the ages, but what the hell? Uh, Slark somehow still alive. Meepo trying to make the jump on in. And look at Sniper. His positioning. The Ogre. Glimmers him back. Just shooting from afar. Picking him away. Picking him away. Picking him away. Shooting, shooting, shooting. Killing the Meepo. Can't even get to him. Right? This is the power of the Sniper. Right? You see how the Ogre, his, his support play has been on point. Forced him. Glimmered him. Just kept him alive. And the Sniper is like, oh, it's because I'm amazing. I have amazing positioning. But no, in fact, your Ogre has saved you countless times. So I hope that you high-fived him at least, uh, tipped him, give him a pat on the back, or commended him because th that Ogre's been on point. He's been your, he's been very good to you. Um, and this is pretty much a better love, love story than Twilight, right? Like this bloodlust and everything, and just he's been completely killing it. Pui Pui. Props to you. I see good support. Uh, he's been forced forward, but now Slark has been on him and he will die. He's been committed, right? And how did Slark get on him? Right? He got that jump. He got that ambush. All that stuff that we're talking about. They're going to win this fight. They're because of this. So they've completely turned this around. Force Storm will not save them from here. And they're going to get Sky. He just dies. Yeah. Okay, so again, the Sniper, right? They killed target number one very quickly. They had the Nullifier. And they got that nice little flank. Sniper doesn't have buyback, that's shame on him. He definitely needs buyback. Uh, Skyrath with the buyback, probably not the most. Uh, BKB, the Slark, he's gonna go in, he's gonna get another kill on that Skyrath. Has a dieback. And yeah, they're gonna get more, they're gonna get the Slark on in return. Oh, nice use up on there. Stop the Meeple from hooping, but is looking to turn this around. Compass just swiping at the guy, does end up killing the Meeple in the end. 123 seconds, no buyback. They get the Wyvern. Mind you, uh, the Sniper is back. So, the same same target prioritization. Who needs his eye? Sniper, right? Look at this guy wagging his tail. The way he walks. Okay. Um, yeah, this guy's kind of a bit of a powerhouse, right? So, again, as long as you're not ambushed, and as long as you have perfect positioning with the Sniper, I always got DD as well. He's going to make quick work of this. Uh, and Rubik being cheeky, right? What was, it, what was he trying to do? He was trying to cut the creeps. Ah. Uh, okay, so he got caught out in the end. Buyback from Rubik instantaneously. He's going to go for the Razor, who is just by himself. Trying to BKB keep himself alive. He, oh, he does survive. They do get the Bristle. They turn this around. The Bristleback dies in the end. Oh, sorry. He has to buyback, that is. Kunkka is just moving out forward. But, sir, you, you need to stick to the towers. And you will pay for this, right? So what do we say, right? We don't, we don't dive towers. We just stick to objectives. And we get as much as we can out of it, right? We don't need to be out here. We need to be here and just killing as much as we can. Uh, sniper's going to look the TP on out. Oh, he gets used on up. And if they get the Sniper that's pretty mastered, the pounce is off the mark, but they're going to get the Sniper in the end. He does have buyback. Razor running for his life. He does get hexed in the end and then netted, and he should be killed. Well, well played there. Good good little uh, transition. They got what they could. I mean, the buyback from Bristle, and they just totally turned that around. They were too deep. Razor was diving for no reason. Um, and yeah, actually, it looks like they're gonna lose one set of rounds. Oh my god, that pounce from downtown. The BKB, and he's gonna run on back. The ghost is gonna be off the mark. Oh, it hits the Meepo on the bottom, excuse me. And they do kill the Meepo. 98 seconds, no buyback. I don't know why you don't have buyback at this point. Like, I don't think I've seen a buyback from him. Let me see this. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, so he did use buyback at one point, but he doesn't have buyback now. Um,. But you're like throwing yourselves at this, you know what I mean? You're, uh, you're like, uh, trying to fight, you know? But like, take it slow, right? Understand who has buyback, how do we take fights, and all these things, right? Like, should we have taken Roche? Like, the time is up. Right now is the time. Stark, on the other hand, uh, just farming some Ancients. That BKB, he's been popping it willy-nilly, so he's actually very low. And through that all, the Sniper will tank the Roche and actually will take it now. I don't think you can contest that without Meepo. So it looks like they're going to be taking that. Um, the sniper, oh my god, he's like a machine gun in 2x. Yes, I understand. It's much faster than it should be, but like this guy does work. He's got bloodlust too, so. And bloodlust is super good at level 4. What is it? Uh, 100 attack speed, right? 100 attack speed. Just so you know, attack speed's been buffed, right? It's been changed around, obviously. Um, so you're going to do a lot more damage. But. Maybe the counter is actually blade mail. 
Maybe with some of the other, uh, like, oh, he's got Blade Miller already. Bristol, I was going to say, but okay. All right, Meepo's looking to make some plays here. He's trying to find some sort of gank, but he's got two ethereal blades, like, because in case you need to, uh, I, I think he's trying to dual pistol John Woo style with, like, the two ethereal blades. But, um, yeah, so he's ready. He's got the hex up, but, I mean, he's got 6,000 gold, right? Like, he's got buyback. And uh, maybe you moon charted at one point. You know, I think you need to start thinking about the future. Agonim's Blessings, that style. Uh, sorry, does he have X? He does not. Hang on, I can't even click on him. There's just too many. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, like, I, 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 don't, I mean, two? Really? Like, okay. All right. You do what you want to do, Meepo. You're a master player, and I'm not, so. Um, I always look at master players as, like, they just have too much free time. You know what I mean? Like, it takes forever to get the master tier. So, like, I always make the joke, like, how do you kill that which has no life? Like, these Meepos are, like, if you're a master tier Meepo player, like, you really like Meepo, right? You need to get a job. You need to do something. Like, like you need to find a hobby, you know? Um, but here I am just judging Meepo. So, uh, Meepo continue to farm. Um, they're just kind of moving back and forth. And this is why... After, you know, 30 plus minutes in the late game, people don't want to make mistakes. People are saving up for buyback. They're making sure that they have buyback and not doing anything risky. And the game actually slows down quite a lot. So sometimes you'll see these games that just kind of extend because they don't want to overextend, get caught out, and then just, just instantly lose the game, right? Because that could potentially happen. And if we're looking at this, super back and forth. <clears throat> oh, I can see the de difference in net worth. Awesome. XP has been jumping around, right? Like... Radiant would have had advantage, and they kind of threw it. So we've been seeing both the teams just kind of throw things, right? It's really back and forth. This Slark with 6,000 gold, man. Like, hey, buy an item. Like, look at all this unreliable gold. You have 5,100-something unreliable gold. If you don't know what unreliable gold is, please do Wikipedia. You do need to know what it is, because if you die, obviously you are hurting your team, and you're giving up a lot of gold for unnecessary purposes, because you could have gotten that 6 slot. Oh, you already have Moon Shard. So why don't you just use this, get the blessing, and then get yourself a real sixth item. Become a man. Do the right thing. Um, we'll be here just trying to scout out. If we're looking at vision, Radiant's kind of dark, right? They've been pushed back, but you have a sniper on the high ground, which is very annoying to deal with. Uh, what do the Dire Sea? The Dire Sea is this. So they more defensive wards. I would have liked more aggressive, something around here. Um, just kind of even things out because I, I feel like the dire actually have um, the map control. They're not showing it with the wards and everything, but I feel like it's they're in a stronger position, so to speak. All right, nonetheless, uh, some more ancient killing, doing what they can. A lot of dilly dallying. So again, we'll just speed this up because I feel like well, we're just waiting for that one massive fight. Somebody to get caught out. Who's it gonna be? Who will make the first mistake? Radiant has actually completely backed up in the high ground. We don't need to see all this jungle. Oh, my camera work is off the mark. And they're finding... Okay, so people are starting to be level 30 with, like, this Kunkka, which is pretty massive. But if he gets caught out, this is a problem. Um, yeah, so they got one and a half racks. Uh, the sniper's still fine. And he's got a rapier. Awesome. Sniper. Okay. I'm just glad there's no techies in this game, because this game would have definitely been three hours. Um, and he has cheese as well. So he, I don't know if he's got the... Uh, if he's going to be able to pop it in time, so to speak, if you get stun lock. But he has, like, again, really no defensive items. Straight up stats, 2,500 life, um, and cheese and a radiant. This is all or nothing, right? Like, if you're going to defend it, like, it's going to be super annoying to deal with. Like, he's so far back. He's literally next to his fountain. So it's like, how do you get on this guy? What are you supposed to do? How do you get there? Right? So you first things first, you need to fix the lanes. Find a little bit of pickup. Like this guy, if he's out of position like that, you need to you need to punish that. You need to figure out a way to do this. Slark, you should not be back here. Right? Like just controlling this and you should be farming in hang on, I, I want to get off this. Uh or actually. But like you should be farming all of like you should be controlling that. I just drew it and made everyone dizzy. But like by controlling this line and forcing them to stay high ground, all they get is trickle in creep. <clears throat> XP gold, right? And it's very difficult for them to farm anything. Whereas this Meepo has literally two Eye of Scotties and two Ethereal Blades. What's better than one Eye of Scotty? Two Eyes of Scotty. Eyes of Scotty. Eyes of Scotties. 
I think it's Eye of Scotties at this point, right? I think that that's how it works. <clears throat> Nonetheless, please correct me if I'm wrong. Let me figure out the pr proper way to pronounce that. Refresher on Kunkka, you're going to see Waterworld times two. And oh, they do find the Kunkka in the end. And that was a little bit of, see, again, slight positioning here, right? Kunkka does have buyback. Rubik died in the end as well. And it looks like what is that one little mistake do? Right? One mistake ended up to two mistakes. Um, and the buyback from Razor and Meepo. Oh, they caught him out, but he does have Aegis. They need to just create space and do an all-out retreat. Oh, don't. I wouldn't go in for this. Oh, they do get the mid-racks. And a dive in there by the Slark for BKB. And now the buyback from the Sniper. And here's the Sniper, right? To shoot people from afar. Bristle, doesn't matter if you're hitting from, you know, like this guy's just completely controlled. The Sniper's there and it's been mega -ed. All right, we can slow this down, I think. All right, we're at the mega stage, right? So here we go. You lost three. Bristle, Slark, Winter Wyvern all have buyback. <clears throat> Exxon for Razor. Nice. Just let him get a little more mana. The Ogre right here is just going to just take care of the farm, or the, the creeps, that is. I mean, yeah, they've been mega but I think Ogre is a big boy. He can handle it. The DD. Oh, my God. The D, the Rune of Fate. This guy is going to do some work. Look at this. What is that? 800 damage per shot and this guy shoots like a, like literally I don't I can't I can't I can't tell you how fast he shoots but like this guy this is over this game is over I mean you buy back all five you don't have your uh, you don't have your ogre to kind of babysit first buyback here oh they're going slow because they know that this is the problem right yeah you've got megas here but you don't have these t2s so the only option right now yeah, let's see what happens oh he's got the the ags goo Okay, and he has heart as well. No, oh yeah, because of blessing. Okay, <clears throat> and actually, with the with that, they're actually gonna back up. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so, all right, this is we've seen that the Meepo is kind of fallen off, right? The fact that he's uh, yeah, he's got eight thousand gold. And to be honest, why doesn't this guy have moon shard? Why doesn't he have axe? Like, I mean, I know you need to save for buyback, but you can buy one at a time. You have 4,300 surplus. Like, you have enough for the axe. Uh, oh, so he's just got a Moonshard. Okay. All right, look at me. Look at me. He, he's already ahead of me. But, okay. So he does have a Moonshard, which is great. Um, Ags is probably on the list. Uh, yeah, that you got that creep, cave, creep wave hard, man. Okay. So the sniper actually had to back up. They got Megas kind of barreling in on them. It's gonna speed things up again until another mistake happens. <clears throat> and Sniper actually puts away his cheese. So he's probably gonna BKB it and mid BKB after he casts it, he's gonna swap in the cheese. Uh, and he's just kind of micro his way forward. Exit on, yeah. All right, so if Kanka starts doing this, where he starts Xing himself in the high ground, going in, killing the creep wave and Xing him back, if you see that, you need a Yules on your team. I think somebody had a Yules, because he Yules him when he's up front. And then once he's, uh, yeah, so the Winter Wyvern actually is kind of getting um, Aghanim's Labyrinth level of destruction in terms of power overwhelming, I would say. This Winter Wyvern is actually getting very, very fat. He can do some damage on his own. Winter Wyvern is definitely a hero that uh, has the potential to scale, which is a very good as a support. Um, but 72 minutes, high ground defense. This is where things get a little nerve-wracking, right? In the sense of, who has buyback? What is going on? How risky can we be? Um, Slark has it, Meepo has it, Wyvern, and Rubik. Everyone else needs to start gaining, start collecting some money, these two, these peasants. Um, but Meepo's here. Slark, okay. Slark has buyback, so, okay. And you do have cheese, the uh, Roshan, not for a little bit. Um, what is it, a minute 30? Yeah, a minute 35. So that's still yet to come. And he's got the Pirate's Hat. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. There's more gold for the team, but to be honest, attack speed, which is really nice, but um, I want to see what the other neutral items that people are getting. I hate that the Meeple doesn't share. Okay, he's got the Fallen Sky. Cool. So he's got the Meteor Hammer style. Um, you don't see that too often, but I, I don't know. Radiant Hang on, i got to see the stats on that thing killed. again. 20 strike, 20 intel, but he's an edgy, right? So it's not the greatest of items. Um, and it takes... What's the channel time? 
15, wait, what? Transfer? Blah, 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 blah. Giving it back. It's a damage. Okay, so it's like a meteor hammer, but I don't know. Is it instant? I think it's an instant one. So, okay, I don't see it too much. So, apologies there for not knowing everything about this game. Um, okay, so again, Dyer right now has done a good job of fixing the lanes. They're still up 29k, but this is the problem. Is that I feel, well... I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I think that the Dire will overcommit and catch themselves out without buyback. Like, it's funny to me that I haven't seen the Radiant side go for, like, a, a risky... Because, I mean, you have more buybacks than them. I mean, obviously, they don't know that. And Sniper is definitely the type where you need to wait for his buyback to do anything. But I would think that at the, once Sniper has buyback... No, you can't, because you got right here. So I was thinking maybe like you go for like a smoke gank. Maybe you look for some sort of pickoff. But I mean, at this point, if Sniper can kind of hold it, I think that you just wait for everybody to get buyback and just wait for them to make mistakes. I think this is the safer. It sucks and it just extends the game. But I think that this is Sniper gaming, right? Where you have to kind of play around his his buyback. And Kunkka actually bought a rapier. Where's the rapier? Um. He bought it with this one. No? Where's... Oh, they do are going for a smoke. Where's his rapier? Oh, it's in the stash. Okay, so what's going to happen is that Kunkka is going to fight. And if he dies, buys back. And he's going to pick up the rapier. And he's going to surprise motherfuckers. Right? Um, can it work? Yeah. I mean, the thing is that... Because he's been the, the up... You know, the upfront guy. Right? So, the fact that he can do this... Because um, somebody needs to be that tank, so to speak. You know what I mean? The bait. Uh, so, Kunkka's willing to do that, but at the same time, he's kind of doing it in the sense of... Um, I, I think that this is smart. Because you come back and everything... All the fights are happening and it's so chaotic or whatever, and then Kunkka in the back just tiebringers everybody, you know, with his, his rapier-style gaming. Like, this is pretty... This is this is a good idea. I'm, I'm cool with this. Uh, hang on, what does Sniper have? What is this? Force Boots. Dispels the user and pushes them... Oh, okay. Okay. Force boots. Pretty cool. Because he doesn't need boots anymore. Because you got that thing. And you have 400 movement speed. Holy crap. Actually, that's a really good item for him. Did they catch somebody? Yeah, they do. They catch up the Razor. Yeah, he should die in there. Uh, oh, no. He gets pulled shot back. And here we go. The Winner's Curse. Oh, but the, they get it on the Sniper. That's the wrong one. If you get it on the Ogre, the Ogre dies. Sniper's just trying to run for his life. He does have it. He does a BKB if he wants to use it. He's been forced back twice. The Sniper not dying. They have failed. And it looks like they're going to go in. The Skywrath alt is there. The Meepo is doing work. Ogre dies. Does not have buyback. And they're looking to turn this around. The Kunk has been slowed. He's been silenced as well. And Razor's looking to back up. The Shramble's creating a little bit of space. But they're like, okay, we've already got Megas. Now we have to throw in it. How are we going to do this? Shrapnel one more time. Skywrath Glyph is now being used. Silence on the Bristle. The Meteor Hammer on the other side. I don't know what it's called. Kunkka does get slowed in. He does die in the end. He comes back in. He does have the rapier. He needs to. Now he's doing the swap. He's got it. He's going to surprise motherfuckers. But the agent is going down. And through that, all the Meepo does win in the end. So they end up pulling it off. That's it. That's the way to do it. So, yeah. I mean, clear MVP was the Meepo on this one, right? The fact that, like, I thought he had fallen off. I thought he had lost or whatever. Um... But I'm wondering what, what could have the Radiant have done better, right? Um, they were pushed back quite a lot. There was there were times they were too timid. I don't think they realized how strong they were. Because um, there, there were moments where the game is 50-50, but they were just hiding high, high ground, right? So that slows down their farm quite a lot. Uh, what is this? Apex? Okay, that's pretty good. Um, I'm actually wondering if they should have swapped these two. I mean, this helps him just keep his tank ability up. But I, I feel like this team was really lacking that um, that bristle type. Like, if he had an Aeon disc or something like that, like, I know it sounds silly, but, like, let it pop, right? Like, like this guy needs... Somebody needs to be up front to provide space for the sniper to just shoot from afar. Um, but a really back-and-forth game. I mean, we saw, like, Rapier Gaming, right? This is pretty sick. And the fact that the Meepo was there... Um, the fact that he's 837 GPM, which is pretty sick with 880. I mean, he was level 30 at the end of the game. So big props to this Meepo. Plox, very well played. Um, the Sniper tried to keep himself in the game. 18-6-19 is not that difficult. But I think that if we're, Razor, or the 
Radiant were to do it again, I think that the Skywrath was kind of like a non-factor. I think if you had a little bit more control, um, like one thing that comes to mind is maybe like an Earth Spirit, just to kind of just muck it up a little bit. Get some stuns off, get some slows, get some silences. You know what I mean? Like if the Meeple's all there, and you just get the magnetize on everything and the toxic toxicity of everything. Just, I think that really would have helped everything. Um, but hey, thank you so much. All right. Um, but yeah, thank you for tuning in on this one. I will catch you guys next time. Thank you for the game, uh, for the replay submission there. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Please do give a like and subscribe on my YouTube on Holler TV. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you.